Welcome back, it's your boy AK, back again with another one. This one is a little bit... I feel I shouldn't even have to make this video. I've grown up over the years. I've made a lot of mistakes. I've offended a lot of people and I've hurt a lot of people. Difference is, between a lot of guys and me is, when I do make mistakes, and again, I am human, I come on and I apologize to those that I've hurt, to those who I've, you know, we apologize, we're a grown man. I, th I thought, not think, I thought that with age comes maturity. I was wrong. If you'd like a little bit of background before I get into this, I'm not going to repeat the whole thing. I recommend you go watch my video where I did a message to drill rappers, fans, and black people. I've told a story there about how I used to make money off of uh, uh, drill music and I was around for the birth of drill music and I was involved in a lot of details because that was how I made my money. Kind of like these academics, but I just didn't put my face or brand on it. I was 16 years old. So I want you to think of something. I was almost the same age as Chief Keith, if not two years different. Very close in age to a soldier boy. So you can see that I was a young dude. When you're 16 years old, you're not thinking about if I hurt you, you know, we're men, I'm talking about men. I'm not talking about girls and whatnot. If I hurt you, or let's say something happened, like the boss, uh, like the ballot situation, even ballot was around to say, like, these guys were all older than me, by the way. Now, Chief Keef, it came a time where he became famous. He moved from O Block to California, Los Angeles, and started living the Hollywood life. He took a bunch of people with him. And I've seen over the years them become stars as well and start their own incomes off of the back of uh, the association, DBE. Uh, and and uh, uh, long live, of course, Fredo Santana, and long live, uh, what's his name? You know, long live Capo. I never spoke to Capo or knew him, but Fredo had shared my links, and Blood Money had shared my links. Blood Money was actually a pretty humble dude. He had the words Blood Money on his face, kind of like Post Malone, always tired. When you see a guy like that with teardrops, you think he's the scariest. He was older, so he was matured. He was actually a pretty nice dude. So was Fredo. Even though he had a cross right there and teardrops, he was pretty scary to look at. But in reality, he was a pretty humble, easygoing dude. I say that to say, during the beefs and the situations with Bala and I, Fredo... See, Balad, what happened was at the time, Balad had took Soldier Boy's tent. I kind of was, I wasn't, I wouldn't say Soldier Boy's crew, but I was, you know, as a 60 year old fan, I was repping SOD, but I was also making money off of both parties and the beefs of the dramas in the middle. I've covered a lot of the celebrity drama, not the hood drama, not the Warren Shire Rock. Academics was more. I guess connected to the people and did report. So people sent him stuff. I just covered public stuff. Again, if this doesn't make sense, watch that video I mentioned. It's on my channel, let's go to videos. It'll explain everything. That was how I made a living at that age. I like Bus Stop. I liked his music. I'm not just saying this for the video, I actually like the song Hell No. I still play it time to time, produced by Tarantino, 808 Mafia. You know, I'm a big 808 Mafia enthusiast. Shout out Tarantino. I'm gonna send him this video. 
Long story short, boss stop, you are older than me. I'm directing this to you directly. You directly. Over the years, I thought you would mature. I thought that you would get older and recognize that you've achieved. Because uh, Hell Now has a couple million views. If you decided to be more serious about your rap career, you would be have taken off. What I don't understand is, you, Dirk, all of you guys are older than me. You're supposed to be more mature and wise than me, right? You're supposed to lead me into a more wise, but no, I don't see that. Bust up, may I remind you that you have been kicked out of Chief Keef's house for stealing. You don't even steal money. You took things like uh, uh, baby clothes and, and diapers. I was 16 years old clowning you. I called you the diaper bandit. Chief Keef was nice enough to let you in into his, his Cali mansion. And include you. He could have said, I don't know you. Get out of here. He could have done that. I would have done that. Because a lot of people on my come up there support me. Now they come back around. I get DMs from people on Instagram. They see me verified. And they DM me like, the same people who hated me like five, six years ago. I'm proud of you. I don't care. Thank you, but I don't care. I'm not letting anybody benefit off of me now if they hated on me before. Period. I only care about like five people on this earth. Circle small. That being said, moving on. Chief Keith, though, was nice enough to do to you like Soldier Boy did to him and allow you to come and benefit from just hanging out and taking pictures and, 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 and expanding your rap career. You guys even did music. On a song, St. Lawrence, you were still caught up, I guess, in a hood mentality. Do a drill up on St. Lawrence. TQ's verse, it was all about going to the mall and shopping and smoking uh, some exotics. Your verse was about going to man down. This is what you said. And no substance or nothing, but I'm just... I get it, you're older, he's not the same person, but. Man down on St. Lawrence. Do a drill on St. Lawrence. I'm smoking who and who. Da da da, bro. You're in Hollywood. I'm, you, have a, you have a baby, I'm guessing, I don't know. Because you did steal diapers. I'm not going to shame you for stealing diapers. I didn't grow up rich. I understand, okay? Listen, disclaimer, anything I say is entertainment. I did or someone did. Disclaimer. But back in my day, I hit me a few licks. So I'm not acting like I'm better than you, dude. You stole. You literally bit the hand that fed you. Bus stop, bus stop. You must have no top on your top. You must have no head. You owe Chief Keef an apology. Now, when I go on the internet, 10 years later, this is 10 years later. And again, I mentioned this again. You are older than me. You should be more mature than me. I know, I, I see you nowadays. The first time I see you after these 10 years was uh, uh, around that Rico. Correct me if I'm wrong, but weren't you the guy on camera pointing at the dudes who did the, the drill on FBG Duck? Talking, just talking too much. You're a grown man. You're on a black top. Yeah, you know how we do. You know how we do. Listen, you're a grown man. You, I'm sorry to say, boss, boss, stop. You are broke. 
after all this success you had, how are you still in the hood? Bragging about someone else's, which you shouldn't even be around that type of environment. You've been in Hollywood and you ended up back here? Wow. Because you bit the hand that fed you. You didn't learn from that. You just kept it pushing with the same stupid mentality. Now you're around Lil Durk, but you're not being there for Lil Durk as, as hey, bro, we got to stop this, man. Keep it entertainment. We're already rich. Let's just get rich. Or you're not rich. He is rich. But you're not trying to benefit in a, in a, in a positive manner. You're just perpetuating the same BS that put you in the same stupid position. Why stop? You have no top on, on your top. I'm convinced you are brainless. I'm convinced you are an idiot. You are stupid. You are not just stupid. You are a different kind of stupid. If I was you, 10 years go by, I reflect every few months, every few days I reflect on what I'm doing in life. You didn't just steal from a random person, you stole from the person that put you on. Boss, stop. Instead of you calling him a weirdo and, and going back and forth, you could have apologized to him. If that was me, I would publicly apologize to him. Being a diaper bandit is not a good look. Being a, a quote unquote driller gangster is not a good look. Who are you trying to impress? The ladies? These ladies that you may be trying to impress, they ain't gonna come and pay your commissary. I'm sorry. The only dude that probably had the ability or the, 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 the love to come and you know, look out for you if you were to be in one of those situations, because the life you're leading, it leads to either that or, 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 or the grave. So the only dude that probably would have helped you in, in such a hypothetical situation was the same dude you stole from. You bit the hand that fed you. The least you could have done is 10 years of, you, had, you, you didn't do no growing up within these 10 years. You could have said, hey Sosa, I'm sorry. I was down bad. I was a thick straight. I've changed something. If I was you, I wouldn't have took them diapers, but that's what I would have said if I had made such an alarming mistake. Sosa, clap back. But Sosa, you know, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not going at him because he already made it. He made his millions. He's just smoking his little exotics and tweeting. And he has no interest in nothing besides making music and driving fancy cars and dealing with the demons instilled in him. What's going on in, in, in Chicago or Chirac? His mental illness, brother. My friend, bus stop. I wanted to see you win because I am a fan of your music. The song Hell No, I used to play it when I used to live in Saudi Arabia. That's how much reach you had. I you know, you might see the glass and stuff, but I'm from the streets, bro. I wanted to see you win because I felt the street guy in you. I wanted you to potentially be, and I thought you could have been, what Lil Durk is today. A lot of guys from that era could have been what Lil Durk is today. Could have been Capo, DB. But this, this poisonous mentality, let me educate you on something. You're African-American. That's just a nice way of saying you're African. I'm African, straight up. Let me tell you something. 
Where I'm from right now is a place called Sinai. The political situation is not perfect, but I'm going to tell you something. Let me drink. Four thousand years ago, what is now known as Egypt. See, Egypt and Sudan, it was one place. It was called the Nile River Valley. It was all black people before the colonizers came in and mixed up with the Egyptian, modern Egyptians. So it was all black people. Sudan, however, remained black, but they still got the Islam and whatnot and mixed up. But throwback to 4,000 years ago, I want to remind you of who you are, Brother Bastop, because you seem to be very lost. And there's a lot of Bastops in the world who need to hear this. I've said this before, I'll say it again. As a black man, being ignorant, stupid, uneducated, should not be part of your identity. When I try to educate you, you tell me, man, I'm from the hood, I don't want to hear that. I, don't I all I care about. See, this is this is this is perfect. This is what the colonizer want. Is for you to be so dumbed down. And this is what Kanye was talking about. The new form of slavery. Instead of being tied up with chains and, and cuffs, now the slaves, you go by your own chains. You're a slave to public perception, to what the hood thinks about you. You're a slave to brands. Gucci belt, remember the Gucci belt? Now it's what? Louis belt? That's the new MCM? I am not perfect. I do the same things you do, okay? But hear me out. Your ancestors were in harmony with, the, with life. They understood the concepts of time different. It wasn't parallel like it is today. Time is a straight line. They understood these things. Do your own research. If you know Young Pharaoh, I recommend you check out his earlier lectures on the matter. My point is, we understood divine oneness before all, you know? Before all of, who was the first civilization? Before the Romans, right. Your ancestors, see me and you are distant cousins, brother. My ancestors invented medicine and medicinal surgical tools. In fact, they had electricity way before 4,000 years ago. Don't believe me? Do your own research. Baghdad uh, battery is an example of that. Facts. So medicine, electricity, astronomy, astrology on scientific levels. They still don't know how our great ancestors built pyramids. It's still a mystery, a wonder of the seven wonders of the world. Your people used to be great until they got torn apart by the colonizer. You being dumb is perpetuating the problem. It's, 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 you're not trying to fix it. You're just feeding into it. Black man is not supposed to kill black man. Even though some people do piss you off and if you ask me, some people do deserve it. But you're not supposed to kill. You're supposed to be in harmony, at peace. Our, the ancient ancestors lived in peace. They were one with the universe, one with the plants, one with the animals. That's why there's lions in Africa. And to this day, that form still exists. You see in a tribal area. These guys are disconnected from the modern matrix. And you might see them hanging out with a lion. If the lion wanted to, hum, he could eat you, kill you, and you. A whole lion. But see, there's that 
even lions got pineal glands, snakes. Our ancestors knew all that. And they founded all these things that we have today. So when I see you bust up, an example of the modern, nah, you're a horrible example. Our ancestors did not go through all that for you to act how you act, brother. Start educating yourself. You and Ball Out. Let me talk to Ball Out. Because this is going to make it to a lot of Chicago places, I'm assuming. Ball Out, you take it Soldier Boy's chain. The man that welcomed you in his house in LA and flew you guys out and showed you guys all the love. He was a multi-millionaire. He didn't have to show you any love. You call him a sucker for it. Bus stop. You see, I got the karma back. See, bus stop running in your house. You ran up in that man's house. Took his money, took his stuff, his diapers. And with the brag, yeah, he's sweet. He's a sucker. These things don't make you cool or good or hood or street. Yeah, I'm a real street. You, that, that don't give you extra points in life. That just makes you a bad friend, a snake. If I was Chief Keef and I seen what Bala did, I would have either told, I told, I would have told Bala, hey man, this dude welcomed us before anybody showed us love. He arguably put us on. Go and make things right. I would have ended that beef quickly. Instead, he, Chief Keef came out, yeah, he's a sucker. I get it, you guys were young, but you're not young anymore, bus stop. You owe Chief Keef an apology. Chief Keef and Bala, you guys owe Soldier Boy an apology. Being stupid and ignorant, beefing with another black man, selling the, the idea of having a another black man is no good. This is not what your ancestors went through hell for. We go through hell enough outside, from, from, from the outsiders, as black people. Not to mention, you guys in the US, you got systematic injustice, systematic. We, we should come together, bro. The people at the top love it. You guys are beefing. They're super divided. That's why you go on YouTube now. Or any form of media nowadays. And I just see a big old divide that... It was always differences in opinion, but not like today. Today it's extreme. Whether it's man versus woman. Men act like this. Men should have this. Men should have da-da-da. Men are, don't get treated right. It's not fair. Then the woman come out da 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 da. You move that away. What do you have? Republican versus Democrat. You guys. You guys. Nah, you guys. You guys. You move that out the way. What do you have? White versus black. The race hostilities or other races or Mexico. You move that out the way, what do you have? Black people, with all this going on, it's a shame that we have a war between ourselves. I made a video that I was gonna post, but I ended up losing the files. I was saying, you guys are, are, are fighting for, for, for beefs that you don't even know the dude who started the beef. You're just there, either Huh? K or BK'd? Nah, bruh. Do you know Larry Hoover? Do you know King David? Do they care about you? They don't care about you. They're using you. Don't be a pawn. Okay? Don't get used and, and end up in a process serving the elite. You guys are all FBI. When you're selling crack in your own community, you the feds, whether you realize it or not. Because who put the crack there? Think bigger, bruh. 
I used to rap about scam rap. I've kind of given up rap. I've chosen to come here and spread a positive message. Hopefully I don't get assassinated. I'm not Malcolm X, bro. I'm just the guy. I'm just the guy who witnessed Boss Top Rise and very sad to see him waste all this potential. And at the end, beef over with the guy who's like, he's trying to, Keith been sweet. Sweet how? So you telling me, let's say Boss Top, I see you as a friend, right? I show you love. Man, I kind of like your music. I kind of, you know what? This guy's in the hood. Let me, let me change his life. You're telling me the thanks I will get if I was your friend is you're going to take my stuff, you're going to take my PS5 here and, and go on the internet later and say that I'm sweet? That's the thanks I get for helping you? Well, thank you very much for showing me your character. Now we can't be friends. I can advise you from a distance because I wouldn't let you around me, you diaper thief. You want a thief for real? Go at least thief with some honor. It's still in diapers. Ha. Diapers? How are they? Nah, bruh. This problem is not just bus stop, it's deeper than him. I just used it as a vehicle to spread. What I was gonna spread is that you guys are perpetuating the problem. Um, a real man doesn't take from the guy that put him on. A real friend. That's not what a real man does. A real man honors his real friend and, and honors him. That's what makes you a real man. I honored Kevin Williams who helped put me on that hustle. I didn't have to. I could have said I invented it. You don't know him. You would have just had to believe me. But I didn't. I honored my friend. A real man apologizes. It takes two. It takes to have a pair. I can't say it's you two. But it takes a pair to apologize. When you're a coward, you hide. You hide. Oh, yeah. You were sweet. I couldn't have done to you this and that. You're an adult at this point. We're not teenagers no more, but stop. You've got a daughter. Or son, we don't know what you have. Why aren't you out there raising them? You know, I get it, you stole the diapers. I don't know if you have kids, but you should be either trying to establish your life in a way more. You grew up in a hood, right? I grew up in a hood, bus stop. Don't let these glasses and this, because I talk white, people think I'm, 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 I'm P word. Listen, I'm from the streets, I've endured trauma. Some days I can't sleep because I think about what happened, situations I witnessed. I, I'm not going to speak on it here. Maybe a different time. But I've been through hell in these streets, boss stop. You had a rough in, in America. I grew up in Saudi. So you can only imagine. Been locked up all that. K all that. I didn't K nobody, never. But I've been around a lot of stuff. That's why I've, I am the way I am. I speak out against it. If you're really from it, you speak out against it. You don't sit there as a grown man talking about, yeah, you know what it is. We just did this and that. Your words, you yapping. You sit there yapping. Why are you yapping? Why are you even in, the, in those circles? You know what's going to happen when you're in dirt circles? And you're perpetuating the, the, the mentality of slam him out, rob him. He's sweet. Bust stop, you have two million views on Hell Nah. And now your music is rising. You keep hanging in those circles, they're going to do you how you did Chief Keef. Just like yeah, what, Chief Keef, what happened to Chief Keef, him getting robbed, is the same thing he did to Soldier Boy. It's karma. It's, re it's a cycle repeating. You're going to blow up because you, you're blowing up right now. That's why I'm sending you this message. Because I like your music. It's tough love, bruh. I'm honest. I don't bite my tongue. I like your music. You should focus on the music. 
and focus on cleaning up your environment or get away from it. Because the minute you start to blow up a little too much, you're going to see why Chief moved to California. You're going to see why he submitted a claim to be a refugee in California. Because the people around you right now, you're talking about, yeah, we did this and that. They don't have this. When you start to get this, and you don't have to steal diapers no more, you're going to become the diaper that they're going to want to take. And with that mentality that you're perpetuating and bragging about and you claim to be living, it's not going to be so funny when it happens to you. When you're on the other side of the of the weapon see you, you you've been the, the shooter you've been doing the shoot but when you're on the other side of it now it's not gonna be pleasant you have daughters and kids I don't know if you do it's really not gonna be pleasant they're gonna have to grow up without them without one like you you want that far? If you don't want that, take this advice. I'm just a guy, man. I don't have nothing to gain except you too, man. Which I will gain unapologetically. I'm tired. I've been rambling too much. But I stop. Fix up. Be a man. Apologize and, and, and grow up. You're older than me. You should be telling me this when I was doing my, my stupidity. Not me telling you. Grow up. Your words yapping, you know, it started a Rico. I don't care about all that stuff. I'm just saying it's sad to see what you have come to and become. And let Dirk grow up. You endured the stuff in the hood, leave it in the hood. It's time to grow up and prosper. Get away from Chicago. Go chase a, a career or something. Get some type of money. Take care of your family. That's what a real man does. He doesn't go steal diapers. That being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. The video just dropped. Make sure you smash subscribe, like. A new one's coming, of course. I'm always working on some stuff. Some nice ones. I've been off schedule, but I, I, I haven't forgot about you guys. I, I promise I will deliver. I always do. All right? Hit the super thanks. And send me the receipt on Instagram right here. I will say your name and shout you out next video in the beginning. Take care. I'll see you.